national television. I didn't summon anybody. It's the House of Representatives that summoned whoever is trying to reach me on telephone. The person should appear before this house. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit very worrisome that public officers tend to believe that it can be business as usual. It can never be, not with this committee. Anyway, my dear colleagues, on the 28th day of September this year, a petition was referred to us from plenary. And that is the reason why we are here, to hear that petition. To that extent, we invited the petitioners who are here present in their numbers. We invited the MD of Nest Oil. We also invited the GMD of NNPC. Both are absent. There is no communication to that effect. No reason is given why they are not before us. And we believe very strongly that this is not an attempt to ridicule this house. We will stop at nothing to compel them to appear in person before this committee. And let me refer them very clearly to sections 88 and 89 of the 1999 constitution as amended. There is no body on the face of the earth that is a Nigerian that cannot appear before this committee. We will believe that maybe there was a mix up or whatever, uh, but I, I don't think that highly placed officers of government will choose to disregard a summon for appearance before this house. Remember, the House Committee on Host Communities has the express mandate of the House of Represent Representatives to hear this matter, both by our rules and also as a referral from plenary. We will, by the grace of God, as a lenient parliament, extend another invitation to them. Because I was beginning to imagine if we could go ahead and look into this petition and deal with this petition in their absence. But I think let us give fair hearing. So we will be requesting. It's enough time. I, I thought it would have been a bit punitive, but for them, it would have been a bit punitive. If, if it's left for those who refuse to appear before us, even if we said 24 hours. Uh, so in, on two Mondays from now, we will be having everybody at 12 noon. My other advice will be, I can see this is a large, a large group. I don't know if it were possible to ask that to reduce the number. Uh, let, me, let me tell you something. Your matter will be properly heard. Let, make no mistakes. Let nobody deceive anybody. Even if it's one person that comes here, we have gone through your petition and we hope that the parties will put appearance on the 6th. Uh, 
Personally, too, personally, I will speak with my clerk because I, I feel I feel a bit worried that this large contingent can travel all the way from River State and they've been here, I'm sure, since yesterday or thereabouts. And there is not no way all of them can get back to River State today. By the time you come back. We will, we will, uh, we will look at, we will look at, yes, it doesn't matter. We will look at uh, a way of uh, reducing your burden. It has never happened. <coughs> it, it has never happened, but we will, we will use it as an exception because you are a large delegation and we do not want crisis. For my colleagues. Well, maybe we will not know. They come from the Omok Axis. Thank God my brother is here. A couple of days back, there was a problem around there. And these are the kind of things that we don't want to hear. These are the kind of things we don't want to hear. And we hope that if we continue to be law abiding, as you have always been, so that we can look at these matters very logically and to a conclusion. I can assure you, by the grace of God, the truth will come out. And at the end of the exercise, everybody will be together and work together. So do not say because they didn't come to appear before you today, so because of that, you are going to go home and get angry. No, don't. Please. Go home as law-abiding people that you are, you are and let us uh, take the sixth as a date for us to meet.